I'll take a small tile normally and do kind of a really loose, thick painting. So I'm kind of looking at those little curves and waves and the way the, the, way the paint moves. You know, you get a brush stroke and then there's almost an accidental bit where the paint kind of flicks. And there's a curve or a wave or, you know, an unmixed bit of paint moves in a certain way. Usually it's something that has some meaning to me. It's not random. I take this image and then do a loose version of it and then recreate that onto a canvas. I started this kind of style, these type of paintings quite a long time ago. Partly inspired by an artist called Glenn Brown. He does these really kind of meticulous paintings and they're kind of of another painting and they really kind of blew me away. I'm Andrew Burks, I am an artist. This is my show behind me in Leicester Contemporary. This work I made when I was living in London a couple of years after leaving Leicester. New stories from the past, this relates to the process really. I'm taking historical images and then kind of reprocessing them to make a new image. I mean, they're mostly quite abstract, but they, they retain these elements of the composition and, and some of the feel. Uh, so it's, it's creating a new story. That's one of my favourites. A lot of work went into that. That one is based on an Artemisia Gentileschi painting called Judith Beheading a Whole Furnace. In the original painting, there's three people in there. There's two women and a man having his head cut off. So I kind of retain, if you look at the original, you can see elements of the composition. I think when you start in art, even from a, as a child, you have this motivation to do it. You have this kind of will. There's something behind it that makes you want to do it. And um, it's, it's that. There's kind of a driving force. There's like something that, that really kind of grabs you, I think. And I think if you don't have that, you know, if you're just kind of working mechanically, it doesn't have the emotion behind it. It won't necessarily have the same effect. Hopefully, that comes through in my work. 